Welcome back. You're still watching Technoholic. Now, shifting focus from all the phone action, let's talk about laptops. Now, we use laptops in our everyday life and they are pretty delicate devices. And it breaks your heart even if they are slightly damaged or mishandled. But now imagine a laptop that you can kick around like a football and handle in the roughest possible way. And Panasonic gives you a tablet PC just like that. This is the CF19 Toughbook and Siddharth Sharma is up next with a full-blown review. Panasonic, I believe, is the only PC maker who don't believe in making sleek and slim laptops with garish colors and, of course, cool names. MacBook, Inspirons and, of course, Wios are such cool names, but these guys believe in toughness. So they name their netbooks and laptops Toughbooks. Such an unimaginative naming. So I called these guys up and asked them, what's the reason behind it? And they said, why don't you answer your own query? And they sent me the latest Toughbook CF19 from Panasonic. Of course, we're going to put that name to test, but before we do that, let's take a look at its specs first. Panasonic Toughbook CF19 is a tank of a tablet PC and weighs maybe more than a 10-pound tumble in your gym. It is equipped with wireless and makes you stay connected. It runs on Windows 7 Professional Edition and has a convertible notebook to tablet design. The CF19 is powered by an Intel Core i5 processor. The screen is 10.1 inch, sunlight viewable LCD and the keyboard has a rubberish feel to it. And you have regular Ethernet ports, USB ports, the works. It also boasts of mobile broadband ready design. All this is packed in a magnesium alloy case with a strap-on handle and branded with the name Panasonic Toughbook. Now let's see how tough it really is. So those were the specs on the Panasonic CF19 Toughbook. Now Panasonic claims that the Toughbook is for people who work in extreme weather conditions. I certainly don't work in extreme weather conditions but the winter is setting up in Delhi so I found this huge ice bucket over here and put the Panasonic Toughbook CF19 for some cooling down to do. So let's see whether it's still functional after this cold ice treatment. Now that's a cold treatment so let's see whether it's still functional or not. Seems to be working quite right, the typing is there, the mouse pad is still functional. Let's see whether the touch screen over here works or not. Yep, it's still working. Now the Panasonic CF19 passed our ice bucket test and Panasonic also claims it to be water resistant. But we're going to take it one step ahead because Mr. Das over here has got a soda bottle and he says this won't be able to take the rack of a soda. Let's check it out. Mr. So Das, there's your Panasonic CF19 tough book and I'm going to get out of frame because this is really going to get messy. Even after we poured three bottles of soda instead of water on the CF19 tough book, it still refuses to break down. It's working in a perfect condition. So it definitely passes our ice bucket test and the soda resistant test as well. Now it's time for the pressure test. Even after all the walking and jumping, surprisingly the CF19 Toughbook screen didn't even have a scratch. And now I'm beginning to run out of ideas. Now we know that the Panasonic CF19 Toughbook can handle some real pressure. But can it handle my car? Let's find it out. I really hope it survives. It's got some minor cracks below and I just hope that the screen is intact. And voila, look at that. The screen is still there. It's not at all cracked. It's got tire marks on it. Let's see whether it turns on or not. Yes, it's in perfectly working condition. I think the issue of unimaginative naming is settled. It's definitely a tank of a tablet PC. Now I tried giving it a cold treatment, I even poured soda over it, ran a huge car on the CF19, but the Toughbook name 
still refuses to budge. So now it's time to take out some weapons. And the weapon that I have with me today is an angry bird. And it's tough for sure, even for an angry bird. I leave it for another day because I'm done trying to put the name Tough Book to the test. Now it's time for the final verdict. Now the Panasonic Tough Book CF19 is definitely a tough nut to crack. Well, it does everything that a tablet PC has to do, so specs wise there's no problem. The touch screen is a bit non-responsive at times, but yeah, you can live with that and of course Windows 8 coming next year and that running on such a device would definitely make the whole touch screen experience butter smooth. The weight on the Panasonic CF19 Toughbook is also slightly an issue but it's built like a tank and tanks are not at all lightweight. So my verdict for the Panasonic CF19 Toughbook is that it's a definite buy from my side. Wait a second, I said it's a definite buy but I forgot to tell you the price. The price on the Panasonic CF19 Toughbook is 2,65,000 rupees. So my advice to you would be spend wisely. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't do any of that to my laptop even if I knew that it was a tough book. And with that thought, it's time for a very small break on Technoholic. But coming up on the other side, Technoholic goes to NH7 Weekender and checks out the scene behind the music.